Hey there everyone, welcome back to Amaz Bot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can download and install eSign on your iOS device without the need for any jailbreak or a PC. Now we will be doing this using the new Bully DNS developed by my good friend. Also guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. Also join the Discord down below in the link in the description. We have tons of updates on it and uh, there's where you can find some certificates and whatnot on it as well. So first things first guys, open the link in the description. It will be this one right here. Simply hit on go and then simply hit on allow to install the profile. Then boy, guys, go to settings and then VPN and device management right here. Go here and then you will see I have already done it but let me just remove it once. And now let's simply download it, hit on install and then enter your passcode, hit on next and then install again and then hit install. Simply hit on done. Now as you guys can see the new frozen scripts uh, app tip will be right here. So simply open it right here. <clears throat> So here guys you can see that i am one of their partners so here guys simply hit on the top left right here now simply go to dns and hit on you just hit on it and as you guys can see this little uh window should pop up right here now we'll see there are some main DNS's and some alternative DNS's. So today we will be using the Bully AI DNS V1. Now this is a new DNS that I will be showing you guys today. Simply hit on it. And then simply download the media file. file. Simply hit on download. And then simply hit on allow and then close. Now hit on done at the top. Now guys go back to VPN and device management and then here we will see Bully DNS. Now simply hit on install, then enter the password, hit on install and then install again and now simply hit on done. Now the DNS profile should be installed. Now go back to the frozen scripts app clip. Now here guys simply go to sign up. Now here you will see a bunch of e-sign uh, versions or certificates so here we'll simply use the hdfc bank one so simply click on it and then hit on install and as you guys can see it should begin installing on your home screen As you guys can see the eSign app has been installed now once you hit on it it show, should show this right here so then guys simply go back to vpn and device management and the enterprise uh, option should show up down here now here simply you click on it then hit on trust and then allow and restart and then restart your Okay, so once your device has been reset, you will see that it should begin working. So you can open eSign and it will crash once and the second time it should begin working. Simply hit on OK and then simply hit on Agree and then Agree again. And then guys, here simply, uh, all you need to do is just add your certificate to it. Now this can be found from the bookmark as well. So let's open it right here. Now simply hit on the top left and then simply go to signer and here scroll all the way to the right and you'll find the coin DVN search. Now here once you have downloaded simply hit on open and e-sign or just go to e-sign and then here simply hit on import or oh, it has been imported sorry. Let's just delete these. Now here simply unzip it and you will find a bunch of sets and now make sure to use the corresponding one that you use to install eSign with 
We used HDFC banks to simply hit on import certificate management. Go back and then here you will see that the certificate has been imported. So it's very simple to uh, actually install apps on it as well. I will have a link in the description that will show you guys how you can do it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.